Welcome, welcome, people, to episode nine of Calling of a Ravenous Bird. I hope you guys are welcome. And um, yes, this one here is actually a follow up to um, episode six. It's about Donald Trump again. So, this one I've actually titled Donald Trump, Nancy Pelosi, and the Art of the Deal. Now, listen to this. Now, this came after a revelation through a dream uh, fr on Friday, the 19th of February. 2021. So what happened was this. Okay, so um, let me just, without further ado, I'm just going to get it out the way because um, there's just a few elements I just want to get out the way. First, of course, you guys already know I made that disclaimer on episode six. And that's why if you have not checked that one out, I would advise you to check it out now um, before hearing this out so that you can check the continuous flow. And sometimes, you know, when it comes to prophecies and things, because um, the messages are not exactly from me, they're from above, they're from God, you know. So I'd like to say that, okay, because I do always check it out first before giving it out. That is it okay to give it out at this time? And, and this was a yes, this has to go out. And the main reason why I actually had to go out is that um, it just seems like maybe there's something that may need to be clarified um, from the beginning. But I don't know. I don't know. I just get this vibe that um, you'll hear why that um, maybe there's something that um, sort of may take a little bit of a weird turn. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know if it's the message that I gave and uh, hopefully I don't think it's really that. I just think that because there's so much confusion happening in the USA and you know, I, I'll be honest, and this is why I needed to make my disclaimer. Um, you know, seeing President Biden and as Joe Biden as the president didn't seem right. You know, and trust me, I'm the kind of person that I've been through this whole uh, Jacob Zuma thing in South Africa, right? And much as, yeah, we kind of knew what was going on, we also knew, you also got the vibe of the public sentiment, and it sort of correlated, and it was like, yeah it does make sense that the people would go this way because of just general sentiment. But I don't know with the USA, there's a, there's a disconnect. And, um, but the main thing here and I'm the main disconnect I want to tell you guys, I know I'm speaking about is the spiritual disconnect. Okay. So that is what I'm here to advise on. And, um, and I just want to remind that, that, um, yes, I am a Donald Trump fan. And this is before, the calling became official um, in regards to doing prophecy on behalf of the kingdom. So I will remind like 2 Timothy 4, 3, that, um, in, uh, sorry, is in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, right? And I just want to put it out there so I don't throw people off. Um, it's the second letter, 2 Timothy from Paul. And um, I actually have a story to tell, but that's for my people on my Patreon that I'll tell regarding this this week on the kind of week I've had. So 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4, verse 3, where I'll say, once again, I'll remind that all prophecies should be unfiltered and will be of sound doctrine. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to get to the message itself and the dream in itself. And um, this is what happened. In the dream itself, Donald Trump was in an office corridor. Now, it looked like some office. He wasn't actually going into a particular office, but like, you know, when there's a corridor leading to conjuncting offices. So he wasn't exactly making his way there. He was just kind of strolling around slowly, just pacing, really. And he, he does that. Um, if you know anything about his habits and... He actually is a bit of a pacer, I guess as a Gemini thing, because I can also get like that to where I can just pace and just um, walk around doing nothing really sometimes. And But um, it was like a rather slow and it was melancholic manner as to where he was just trudging along and just pacing along the dream, right? But while he was still in the hallways, right, and um, just out of the corner from uh, from nowhere came Nancy Pelosi. Now, Nancy Pelosi is the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, right, who's the Democrat elect and is the Speaker of the, the House. You know, they have the House and they have the Senate. So she's the Speaker of the Senate, right, which is largely controlled by the Democrat Party. And hence why, well, I'll get to that a little bit later. But let me get into the dream. Sorry. So I just need to speak that uh, part out. So when Nancy, now Nancy Pelosi got to him, she handed over a document to Donald Trump and it showed a plotted economic graph. And 
when you looked at it, there were various price points. Like um, if you know what a graph looks like, where it'll show you that, yes, um, at this price level, this is the way it, it performed. And at this price level, this is the way it performed, a stock performed and all that. And let me tell you, to the, the performance rate was down. And it was down at the lowest possible price price point. So, which meant that um, that basically um, they were handing over their leverage to Donald Trump. Okay, so in this document, it just showed a pure economic performance. Now, because it was economic indicators. So, at that point, they sort of intervened and said, right, Trump, here it is. Uh, we are now ready. It was basically, there were no words said, but um, it was basically saying on the chart itself that we are now ready to sell, you know, and Trump then looked at the chart, okay, and um, Nancy Pelosi was looking on, but rather reluctantly and quite pensively. So when she handed this over, so then Donald Trump looked at it, he smiled, and what he said was, we now have a deal. I just wanted what was best for everybody. That's what he said. And uh, from there, now I should say, before that, um, while Donald Trump was pacing around, the corridor itself was quite um, not well lit, not well, not well illuminated, I should say. And um, yeah, not well illuminated. And it was like poorly, just a poorly lit corridor. But at that point, when Donald Trump just said, we now have a deal and I just wanted what was best for everybody, the like the ambience in the room started like glowing and um yeah and and um there was a smile on Donald Trump, a huge smile on his face and because now he got what he wanted at his price and um uh, and Nancy Pelosi just uh, like he, she kind of gave a right smile like she was like okay well at least now it's out the way and and she can move on and everything and um come back so and everything can just um, move along speedily because um the main thing was about the economy in the usa just getting back up and starting over again especially that we come from these lockdowns and everything now i've already given a little bit of a preface to the interpretation now i have to get to the interpretation so with the document in itself okay so donald trump as you know wrote a deal called a uh, wrote a book called out of the deal. So where he mainly speaks about negotiations and having and establishing a bargaining power. So you understand your leverage when you go into negotiations. So <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing, but it's just that he makes me laugh, that guy. Um, so when he signed off the document, like that he uh, gave up to Nancy Pelosi, this was done because he had the upper hand and, uh, and he knew what was going on. So while he was just pacing around in the office corridors, he knew that, um, that uh, you know, basically them railing the economy as the Democrats, because, you know, now the Democrats have Joe Biden in there and everybody else would not be able to um, make the make the necessary decisions and manage the economy the way it needs to be managed so that there's a recovery. So when the economy went down, um, he knew that he'll get the reins again and he would... Uh, then be able to make America great again and continue, or should we say, keep America great as per his last campaign of 2020, okay? So now there's a few aspects here. So why would she, Nancy Pelosi, who was the first woman, who, the first person who jumped, impeached Trump, impeached Trump, because she was the Speaker of the National Assembly or the, um, sorry, the, uh, the House of Representatives there in the USA, and um, obviously, you why would you not think that if the person doesn't have power, what would they be able to do? L legitimate power. And remember, I told you something about God always gives the truth, right? Even in prophecy, that this is what's truly going on. So, and the fact is this, is that here is the corridor, like of the dream, is that, and it was poorly lit, and things were happening in the dark corners that people know, know nothing about. So... This is what was happening in the dark, in other words, that this is what's happening in the dark, though many people are not so sure of it. And um, they have basically conceded that, you know, this economy and handling it and the complexity of it um, needs something more cavalier that maybe they just don't possess. And 
And um, I guess they handed back over the initiative to Donald Trump. So, yeah, again, it, it, it just leads to that question. If he if he's not the sitting president, like rightfully, there was no quote unquote, um, I don't know, election. And am I allowed to say this on YouTube without getting banned or anything? Because I've seen people have just been sort of silenced on that. If there was no funny rigging of the elections or whatever it is, then, um, you know, why would Donald Trump still be recognized as the making the uh, presidential decisions? Especially that we had Joe Biden who was signing off more than 40 executive orders, which is a record, by the way, an all time record in and in recent weeks and in the first opening weeks from the day he got into the office, he was just signing off executive orders. Why now does Trump now have to rally back the economy? So yeah, something is definitely happening behind closed doors. And what I'm trying to say is that, and it's in a, that is being done in a very clandestine manner, right? O on one end. And if that's what's not, not, what, not, what's ha not what's happening and the Democrats are not going to hand over back the initiative, well, I guess um, there's just going to be judgment is just going to come. Um, that's all I will say, because this is what, well, like I said to you, the truth will come out, right? And um, from whenever it comes to prophecies from the prophets and all that, right? And then what will then happen is that if it doesn't play out, and if it doesn't play out, that means that um, a lie is being um, kept up to... Um, to keep up an illusion, so to speak. So people must just always be mindful of the fact that, yes, you are, um, j just because Joe Biden became president didn't mean that it had to happen by a certain time. It's just that what people tend to do sometimes is that when certain certain someone, when an anointed person, let's say an anointed uh, servant of God has to do something and has to take up his position, some there are certain resistance will come from the enemy and also from human natures who are complicit to that, who'd want to keep up the illusion and keep up the lie that this is not happening to keep everybody else in doubt. So guys, keep up the spirit and just keep the faith and just watch what happens. Keep an open mind. That's all I'm saying. And just keep the same energy. That's all I'm saying. Especially those people who are saying that there was nothing funny. There was nothing uh, untowards. There was nothing particularly underhanded about this i would say um just watch your position and anyway um just to conclude this um, and i'll just like to refer back to scripture again when um when basically um donald trump made the deal and the and the room became illuminated again and he was given the reins to take over the economy this is um what i'll say um to this regard this was about matthew 5 16 when jesus spoke and he said in the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Okay, so like I was saying, God is the light that will bring the truth to the fore. Okay, right? So that is also some in um, just something that I, I, I worded in my own words, but this taken off um, Luke 12, verse 2 to 3. Okay, so despite everything adversities and hostile opposition i mean donald trump avoided impeachment for the second consecutive time which proves divine protection of his chosen servants as depicted by isaiah 54 17 well chapter 4 verse 17 to everyone that's just not well versed with the bible yet so don't don't sweat sometimes that happens to me no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. We will now wait and see what happens in the United States, people. Anyway, guys, um, like I was saying, just watch out because there are ongoing court processes, court processes, court procedures, especially these voting counties and state by state, they're writing the election. So there's so many of them happening all concurrently. Um, but just watch it'll accumulate and what it'll it'll have a bit of a domino effect the way i'm seeing it and particularly if you remember on um in uh, episode six where i highlighted georgia where i knew that i was shown uh, the whole vision about georgia and um being more prominently so of the swing states that donald trump took because i saw four it was um georgia prominently i saw uh, it was um nevada 
and um i'm trying to think now um so sorry guys it, it seems like i've just um blanked a little bit wisconsin nevada and um who was the fourth one again ah guys i'm i'm so sorry i've just gone a little bit blank no, it wasn't Florida. Florida wasn't even a swing state. It normally regarded, but no, it wasn't a disputed state. Um, I forgot what the other one was. It wasn't Pennsylvania. I, I know some people, some prophets are shown. I wasn't shown Pennsylvania personally, um, but some people were shown Pennsylvania. I, w I was shown, uh, I'll have to go. I think it was Arizona. It was Arizona. It was Arizona. And yes, because um, I forgot what that county is over there. It's also been um, put in into dispute so yeah sorry guys i'm a bit blank but just refer to episode six there i got it correctly there so i was just going off of memory anyway guys um much love i'll check you out on the next one peace bye bye